good morning everybody i'm gonna be a little low-key but this is where i'm going to be stealth camping tonight at the kia car dealership and i'm trying to be as low-key as possible but i think i'm gonna be able to blend in pretty well all righty guys this is my most dangerous stealth camp yet i definitely don't think you're allowed to overnight car camp at a car dealership um, I'm very nervous for this. So I have a fridge in my car and it makes like a little noise and it has a little light on it. I took it out. I took out the Jackery. I took out my fan. Like the fan and Jackery I'm going to have on me, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use them tonight. I think tonight we're going to have to go back to the real basics. I'm not going to be able to put up any car shades, right? Because I think that's a dead giveaway. As soon as they see you have like car shades up in your window, well, you're, he's busted. So my alibi is gonna be that I'm, I'm stuck here and I'm waiting because my car needs maintenance. Um, I was driving on the road and I have an appointment scheduled for tomorrow and I'm just waiting for the, um, for the car maintenance. So that's gonna be my alibi. Um, I'm just waiting, hunkering down until the morning comes um, so they can work on my car. I have an appointment and yeah, we'll go from there. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. And if police are called, um, they probably won't be able to find me because I'll be in one Kia of many Kias, but it's probably not going to come to that. I think as long as uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be cooking outside. I'm not going to be making burritos in the car dealership. I'm just going to have to get in and get out. This is one of those situations where it's high risk. I can't be going out of the car. Once I'm there, I'm there. My plan is I get into that parking spot. I pull in, I set up lights out. Like, I'll have my phone, but that's it. No iPad, no Star Wars, da 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 None of that. We're not doing any of that tonight. Um, this is a high-risk situation. One of the um, few perks of working at 7-Eleven is anytime there's a 7-Eleven anywhere, or anytime people come into my store, um, you get discounts based on your rewards, right? Most people don't have a 7-Eleven reward, so I put my phone number in, and I get a lot of points. So anytime I'm at a 7-Eleven, I can get basically like bags of chips, candy, Cokes, like anything for free. So any 7-Eleven I can go into, I'm basically get whatever I want for free and never have to pay. Pizzas, all that stuff. And uh, ended up with a, a large horchata here, which by the way, I might get some flame flaming for saying this, deservingly so, but I think 7-Eleven has the best horchata in the world. Oh yeah, I've tried lots of this stuff, this is the best. 7-Eleven, number one. All right, so we know not to camp in this spot because this is where they take the vehicles. And I really need a new engine filter and a cabin filter. They showed me the video and I figured I would because it's been so sandy and dusty. But look at that price, 99 bucks and 50 bucks. I'm gonna go to AutoZone, buy those two and install them myself. These are two of the easiest things you could do on a car because I do have free oil changes um, until 2025. So that's why I come here, um, but that, that, definitely a little pricey. Ah, there she is. Oh my God! It's almost October! It's 110 degrees today, guys! Woo! The desert never, ever sleeps. Something that was super embarrassing and maybe a little too much information. Um, I went to the dealership and last night I ate kind of like some burritos, right? And on the way over, I was a little gassy. And um, I, I got there and I was rolling the windows down and I let one more out. I had to do it. I had to run to the bathroom. I was feeling bad. I mean, it happens, you know? And then I get there and I go in, I crack all the windows, right? And I'm like, all right, that'll help a bit. And so I go in and I'm talking to the lady and she's like, all right, can I have your keys? And I'm like, oh, actually, um, I'm gonna go grab my water bottle and get it out. And she's like, okay, I'll come with you. And I was like, no, no, I'll just go grab some things and I'll bring the key back. And she's like, okay, I'm right behind you. And I'm like, shit, dude. So I'm like, okay, she'll be right behind me. I grab the keys, open the door, roll the windows down, grab my water bottle. She's standing right behind me. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn. She's like, keys? I'm like, here you go and she gets in and i feel so bad i felt so embarrassed man that was like one of the most embarrassing things that's happened to me in a long time i just wanted to die like i don't know that was brutal and when i went back i talked to her again but she never brought it up so 
She kept it professional, but man, that was a rough one. I'm sorry if you're watching this. Got the two filters. I actually used to work there at that Taco Bell here in Palm Springs. And in total, I ended up paying $40 for the cabin filter and the engine filter. So versus the 200 bucks at the dealership, I just have to um, find a way to put these on, which should be pretty easy. I believe one should be in there and one should be underneath the hood. And this pretty much they snap in basically, if it's anything like my other cars. Um, I hope they didn't change too much, but uh, got those for later. So that'll be nice. Hopefully I don't need too many tools, just one tool probably, which I should have. And uh, yeah, we are absolutely looking like a mess. Um, this looks normal here. I'm gonna fix this up a little later at work um, because I'm kind of running a tad bit late. Um, the plot thickens, boys. All right, uh, I have 10 minutes so I have to get to work. Good thing I work right up the street. So at the dealership, they wanted the $200 in order to change it. I said, no, 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 just the oil change. Turns out the mechanic already changed them. So I just returned the old oil filters. I just popped them out real quick, real easy. Um, I thought it would be super easy. That's why I didn't want to pay 200 bucks for it, right? But turns out those are brand new. So actually I saved 40 bucks. I just saved 40 bucks. I had them put the money back on my debit card and now I am out of here. I would have liked to check on that earlier. I should have, but hey, it's not my fault. And I ended up getting two free filters and a free job out of it. But I basically did the work myself right now. But now it is time to go to work, have a nice shift at 7-Eleven. I get out at um, 10 o'clock today and I might shoot some B-roll, I might not. My boss hates when I record in the cooler. So see, I'm freezing in here. All right, this is Kim Kardashian's new energy drink called Amani. Seems interesting. It's a breeze berry. It's vegan, so let's give it a shot. I mean, I'm not a big Kardashian fan, but I've been here for about six hours now. I'm getting kind of tired. So my coworkers gave me these, or this one actually, and uh, let's give it a shot. That'll make the old eyes tear up. Look at that. It doesn't say that there's any sweetener, but man, is that sweet. Woo! Feels like you're drinking like a Mountain Dew after you haven't had soda in a couple weeks. Uh -uh. Oh my god. Look at my eyes. I, I can't do that one. Sorry, Kim Kardashian. That's a uh, no wonder we're pulling them off the shelf. What's going on everybody so i'm going to get my car set up here but i need to make some dinner my stomach is growling and yes i do absolutely need a haircut so i'm right out here outside of trader joe's this is like studio lighting i'm loving this um there's a target over there which is just completely pitch black and a boomers over here i used to work at this boomers and i actually have worked at this target as well um both pretty crappy jobs and um what can i say one of my nice memories in life though is working at boomers and after we closed we would ditch the bolts on the go-kart so they would go really fast and we'd race them around for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. You could climb the rock wall. You could just do whatever you wanted. And uh, the boss didn't seem to care. So that was one of the awesome moments. We are properly set up. So I did go ahead and I bought a new pot because, uh-oh, the whole camera angle moved. I bought a new pot because I was just, I only had a pan to cook in. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a new pot. It's cool, non-stick, looks pretty nice. Made in Brazil, that's interesting. And instead of having to go to the gas station to get forks, I picked up four dinner forks for the uh, price of 97 cents. So you really can't beat that. Well, dinner's gonna have to wait because I just got pressed. <laughs> he just asked me to leave. He was really nice. Um, so I'm not too angry. I'm just hungry, but um, I gotta find somewhere to eat and I have no idea where to go. Alrighty guys, it is time. I can wait no longer. 
we are going to start the cooking process right now, boys. Lock in. Go ahead and get that in there. And I got something good tonight. Chicken fried rice. All right, I'm gonna try not to yell and draw a bunch of attention to myself. So go ahead and remove this before cooking. Oh yeah. Go ahead and throw that big thing in there, just like that. Go ahead and lower that down a bit. And I just realized I need to go get my spatula. It is gonna be nice though cooking with a lid for once, that way all the heat can go in there. And then I'm gonna add this orange chicken in and I've got a nice sauce. So I am definitely looking forward to this meal. Okay, turns out my spatula is in my trunk and I cannot get to it. So I'm gonna have to be really careful and avoid scratching the pot and hurting the pot. I don't wanna get rid of any of this coating. I mean, I just got it. So we're going to try to break this rice up, be as gentle as possible here, not to damage anything. Are we out of butane? Oh, no way. Oh my god, guys. This is the real life. Thought I heard somebody whistle. I don't know. This is the real adventure, cooking on the road. At least now I can get my spatula. How you doing? Ah, I think he's a big fan. Aha, uh -huh, at least now I, at least now I have my spatula. All right, we gotta move on to the next place. Palm Springs is definitely not an easy city to uh, car camp in. So that whistle that I thought I heard, it was a security guard and he drove by and he went, I mean, that's fair. I just don't really know where I am going to go. All right, guys. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add the chicken right now because this is cooking very, very quickly. Um, so you get a sauce packet with it. That's the orange chicken sauce. I'm just gonna put that all in it here. I'm gonna dump this chicken in. It's a bit of a big serving. It kind of almost doesn't fit in the pot. Look, if you guys want to see what I'm working with here, it kind of almost doesn't fit in the pot. This is going to take a little work to get going, but oh man, it smells incredible. I'm going to leave this like that for a bit. Come back in a minute. Actually, I'm just going to show you the finished product. This might have been a little too ambitious. I'm not a good cook. The chicken is cold. I think the rice is burning. The sauce is just like frozen, <laughs> but hey, it's camping. So it is what it is. It smells heavenly though. It actually smells quite delicious. All right, guys, that looks ready to eat. I'm satisfied with that. Ow, and what a view I have. Parking lot, all mine. I gotta be completely honest with you guys. This turned out miles better than what I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. And for once it's not me eating top ramen or chips cooked with beef jerky. Mm hmm All right guys, moment of truth. I'm headed to the dealership. It is currently 12.30 midnight, so I think we should be in the clear. I did end up charging my fan a bit and I gotta plug in my GoPro. I'm just gonna, when I get there, I'm just gonna throw all the stuff in the back. Actually, I'll do that right now. I'll do that right here. Um, I got my whole bed set up. I'm so scared. I drove by, did a little test run. Not gonna lie, the whole place is lit up. Like, it looks like a, a, a movie shoot. It's insane. Um, oh, by the way, cheers.
guys, I'm freaking terrified. I heard a door shut, and I was so scared to turn around. And this probably isn't for me because it's a bad area. But you know how, like, when police are like, Bridget, please get out of the car and put your hands up. I heard that. I thought they were coming for me, bro. But I think, uh, I think I'm good here. I'm going to, um... I kind of want to play some Steam Deck, but I'm a little afraid. I'm definitely going to dive into these Reese's, though. And, um, let me give you guys another little sneak peek. I'm at a new spot now, where the lights are a little bit dimmer, as you can see here. But I'm still super close to any car. Anybody who attempts to get in these cars in the morning, I think they're going to be able to see me. Maybe not because my tint, but there's a lot of lights here. This is probably the most uncomfortable I've ever been while stealth camping. Would that light just get brighter? I don't know. I'm tripping out. This is probably the most uncomfortable I've ever been. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to keep you guys updated. I'm getting out of here, man. Nice and early. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. All right. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, man. All the workers are starting to wake up right now. They're starting to get ready. That was insane. Bye bye, Kia dealership. Wow. You know what? I'm starting to get too brave. I'm starting to get way too brave. I'm like, man, this car is unstoppable. Nobody can tell I'm in here. This is the ultimate stealth little car camper, man. I, I stayed the night at a dispensary where I used to pull up in my van and they would come out with eight, I can't say that word. They would come out with firearms and, <laughs> and they would literally come. I remember I was going to work at Starbucks and I parked there in the morning and he tapped on my window with a rifle get out of here I slept in I spent the night in my car <laughs> this is nuts I literally stayed at a car dealership somebody had to be watching me you know wow that this is this car is just insane the ultimate little stealth car camper what's another test I've already stayed at a police station where do I go from here what do I do there's a government base in a Joshua tree I guess my only next step is spending the night inside of a military base. I guess that's where we have to go.